is the second time debate on the Chogam report is being postponed. It was due for consideration and adoption, but some members of parliament wanted it thrown out following the directive by President Museveni this week to Prime Minister Apollon Sibambi to take action against public officials and political leaders who abused procedures and mismanaged Chogam resources. However, Speaker Edward Sekandi rejected the proposal. Parliament is not a court of law, and therefore it cannot acquit. Acquit, acquittal is always done by the court after tr following a trial. There has not been any trial. CID is free to carry out its independent investigation for purposes of finding offences created. IGG is free to carry out its investigation. The, what has been done is for the committee, for the parliament itself, to consider the report submitted. It's not a bar for further action. Again, opposition lawmakers walked out of parliament as soon as the Chogam probe report came up for debate. They accused their NRM colleagues of shielding top political leaders who were implicated in the report. They remained outside as the deliberations went on in the House. Some independent-minded NRM legislators were in agreement with their stand, but not so the government chief whip. The culture of walking out uh, when you are when your point of view is not carried, is really not in line with the expectations of multi-party democracy. That is my understanding. It's unacceptable for people to walk out. With the opposition, if you want to ask me, they have a point. You cannot be, you cannot be part of this thing. You cannot be part of the exonerating the corrupt. You cannot be part of accepting this kind of vice. It is a shame to ask some of us who belong to the NRM. We don't want to see this going on in our party. However, some members of parliament are of the view that issues of national interest should be bipartisan and the parliament should be seen to vote with one voice. The leader of government and the leader of, of, of opposition should build as much consensus as possible and should move in unison. What I would not want to see is an impression created that opposition has walked out and therefore they are the ones fighting corruption. And that government side which has remained in the parliament is supporting corruption. So, so that, that maximum consensus should be generated. The debate of the Chogam probe report has now been adjourned to Tuesday next week. Michael Baleke, 